I've talked about characters in the TV series Heroes who had interesting potential that was ultimately squandered, but I think Monica Dawson got the shortest stick out of everyone featured in the series. Introduced in Season 2, a season filled to the brim with lost potential, she vanishes after the season concludes, never to be seen again. At first, you might say, what could they have done with her? But I think I have just a solution for how poor Monica could have been handled better in Heroes. If you haven't seen the series, Season 2 has Nikki Sanders bring her son Micah to live with his cousins. Micah and the audience find out Monica has the ability to see in action and mimic it perfectly. For example, a crazy wrestling kick or a fancy decorative thing with a tomato. This is an interesting power, one I haven't seen anywhere else. But the series never did anything with Monica. She discovers her powers, Micah convinces her to be a hero, then Nikki has to go rescue her. With the larger-than-life plots and international cast that slowly comes together to confront these threats, it'd be difficult to contrive a way for Monica to become part of these stories. If Monica lives in New Orleans and a virus erupts in Odessa, Texas, why would she go there where the other characters are converging? Even if you could contrive a reason for her to be there, what would she do? She's got cool powers, but not the kind that would lend themselves to fighting a virus. Not every character in a given season has to be part of the major storyline playing out in that season. They might be in their own side story that doesn't connect with the A plot, and eventually, they might converge with a bigger story involving more of the characters in a later season. For Monica, I think what we got with her in season 2 was a good beginning. So what would I have done with her if she kept showing up in later seasons. I would do a sort of Bruce Wayne, Terry McGinnis situation with her and Micah. Micah could interface with technology in various ways, and in the back half of season 3, he takes on the mysterious identity of Rebel, and uses his powers to coordinate superhumans and help them fight the government program trying to capture them. So with Micah's dad missing, working for the company in my own version of the series, and Nikki's alternate personality Jessica asserting itself as the dominant persona, working for supervillain Mari Parkman, Micah feels lost and directionless. Since he's already already convinced Monica to do the hero thing, they concoct the idea that he will be the man in the chair, and she will be doing the physical stuff. He can access security cameras, cell phone signals, anything to help her kick butt and take names. This would be a great direction for both characters to go, since Micah was forgotten in the first half of season 3. Series creator Tim Crean wanted the show to be about normal people discovering their superpowers, but that only works in the first season, when you're getting introduced to these people. Eventually, they have to stop being normal people and start doing stuff with their powers, so Monica would would basically become Batman. If you're wondering how I would handle Micah aging, here's the deal. For some reason, Heroes wanted to play at a slower than real world rate. While season one took almost a year to air, only six weeks happened for the characters. Then four months in between seasons one and two, with even less time playing out in the ten episodes of season two. But the series didn't really have to do this. Adults don't age that noticeably over the span of a few years. So if your cast was entirely adults, that would be fine. But you've got a kid. He's going to look much more than five months older by the time you get into season three. So don't do this weird time passage thing. Say a year happened in between seasons. There's not much in season two that had to be only four months after the end of season one. So that's it for Monica and Micah, two characters who got the shaft that could easily have gotten better stuff to do. I do these kinds of fixed videos all the time, so check back in the future to see what else I'll be doing. Until then, have a good one.